Hi, you're again on a How to Dentist channel. In the previous episodes, we talked about the X-ray machine and radiation doses. And today we will understand how to manage properly this radiation when receiving intraoral dental X-rays. As we have said, X-rays are actually light. So for a better understanding of the X-ray geometry, we take a flashlight, an imitation of an X-ray tube, a regular matchbox, it will imitate a tooth and a sheet of paper, it will serve as a film or a visiograph sensor. Now we are placed the matches in the box, as if it were the roots of the lower molar, the majel, buccal and lingual, and distal. Then we are placing the sensor and the flashlight. As can be seen from the picture, they should be perpendicular. Turn on the flashlight and here we are. We see a projection. A picture is a direct projection. But with this arrangement of the sensor and the meter, the projection of the roots can overlap each other, as we can see in the real situation. So you can use the distal and medial shift. We move the source medially and see how the projections diverge. The same things happens in a real situations. With the distal shift the picture will be similar. But how to understand where is the necessary root? Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Let's see what happens when the projection is shifted. But put a piece of clay onto the buccal root. And now everything has fallen into place. In confirmation of our words, we give a diagram from a book. As seen in the medial shift, the buccal root is located centrally, lingual and distal at the edges. With distal shift, the lingual root is located between the distal and buccal. Now let's see how the shadow will be distorted when the angle of the tube changes relative to the sensor or vice versa. The image is enlarged or compressed and loses sharpness, which can be seen on a real X-rays. The recommendation to place the sensor as close as possible to the tooth can also be illustrated by our example. So when the sensor is moved back, the sharpness begin to decrease. In the example, you see scan like this, where the sensor is too far from the tooth. Now we put the matches a little differently and turn the box upside down to get an approximate diagram of the roots of the upper molar, a long palatal root and shorter from the check side, the medial and distal. Switch on the flashlight and look at the projection. To obtain a clear image of the medial and distal roots, we place the sensor parallel to these roots, but as we see the more longer palate root lying in a different plane and is not clearly visualized, and often the tip can be cut off. In this scan it's clearly visible. In this case, we will have to sacrifice the real picture and position the sensor at an angle to the tooth. Here is an example in which the apical part is visualized. Thank you all for watching, subscribe to our channel, write comments. Watch us every second Monday, bye!